20 minutes in, and it is 1-0. Stay tuned for your local Honda dealer. First intermission report is what's coming up. Paul Kennedy and Adam Hall are standing by in the studio. They will have an interview with Taylor Radish, who gets his first NHL goal here tonight. Bolts Road success will be a topic of conversation, and they will have highlights and stats all coming up. Report. His first goal in the National Hockey League. The rookie Taylor Radish. The first shorthanded goal of the year. The Bolts are on the go. The first of five away from the Bay being skated on this Saturday night in the TD Garden. And at this first period, and what he has shown, he has stopped all 12 shots. He has seen a number of very tough saves. Yeah, he's been fighting uh, his way through a lot of traffic to be able to make a lot of these saves. And if it wasn't for him, uh, this could very easily be a 2-1 or 2-0 game for Boston Bruins. So uh, there you see Ross cutting to the net hard, far side. Vasilevsky stayed with him all the way. Uh, here you see again, they're just the Bruins were able to get a lot of chances uh, inside that area. And here you see Radish just kind of a broken play. Uh, the defenseman for Boston was flat-footed. Radish makes an unbelievable move to hang Hang on to the puck, even getting hooked at this at the time, and uh, just lifts the backhander up over the outstretched pad of Swayman. So Swayman, the Bolts, better than two to one, along with Adam Hall. I'm Paul Kennedy. We're going to be joined now by Taylor Radish in the uh, TD Garden. I believe we have him with us here now. Uh, Taylor, we just showed your goal. Take us through it and how it developed for you and how you're able to jump the defenseman. Yeah, it was kind of just a, a broke up play there in the at the blue line, and I think uh, I don't know who it was, kind of chipped it out, and just I kind of saw the D flat footed, so I thought I'd just kind of drive it to the net and get it deep in their end, and luckily got a, a puck under his stick, and the goalie bit on it, and uh, yeah, it was good to get that one. Taylor, congratulations again on your first NHL goal. Can you talk real quick about you know what your feelings were there uh, right after that happened, and then uh, also you know who's your parents and everybody else, and what that's meant to you. Yeah, that was awesome. Just uh, I know it's been a, a long start there with trying to find the first one, but uh, yeah, that was special, and especially on a, in a rink like this. And you watch so many games here, and I'm sure my parents at home are pretty excited. And uh, we've been talking about it for quite a bit, and I know it's kind of in uh, all the back of our heads. So it's kind of finally nice to get that that first one out of the way against one of the original six in Boston. That certainly makes it special. Uh, these two teams have a history. Uh, always physical, always a heavy game. What did you see in the first period and the way that Boston has come at you? Andre Vasilevsky has been stellar. What needs to change for Tampa Bay? Yeah, we just got to make some harder plays. We're kind of just forcing things and not getting the puck behind their D. I feel like that's that's what we got to do, get hard on the forecheck and use our speed. And when we're doing that, uh, good things happen. And uh, yeah, right now they're coming hard at us. We just got to kind of adapt to it and uh, help Vazzy out a bit. Taylor, we're happy for you. Congratulations on that first goal. It is huge in this first period. We wish you well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Taylor Radish, his first. And thing over the bees. Mikhail Sergachev with the assist. And we will take you around the league and the history with the Philadelphia Flyers. Just ahead. So the NHL on Valley Sports is brought to you by Honda and your local Honda dealer. Uh, tonight... The Bolts in Boston, Dave Randorf, Brian Englund. Their thoughts and our second period just ahead. Vazzy's been superb as he plays on Valley Sports. It is 2-1. Right now, it's Pilat with a go-ahead goal. Stay tuned for your local Honda dealer's second intermission report. Here's what's coming up. Paul Kennedy and Adam Hall will have an interview with Andre Pilat. Highlights and stats, and they'll take you around the NHL on what is always a busy Saturday night. They're going to come shorthanded. If you missed it in the first period, we thought it was worth your time to show it again. Yeah, you saw he just jumps on the puck shorthanded, does a great job cutting in and then protecting the puck, uh, takes advantage of it, puts the backhand right over the outstretched leg of Swayman and gets his first goal as a member of the National Hockey League. In the bubble in Toronto in 2020, Andre Pilat scored against Boston in games two, three, four, and five. He had two and five, and he got one tonight. That's five games in a row with a goal against the Bees. He loves playing against Boston more than any other team. He seems to score every single game. Uh, here, he gets a little bit of lucky, but uh, when you're doing the right things, uh, the buck goes in for you. Here you see 
Vassy just being again on top of his angles. Uh, a couple of posts in there, uh, and then he just he's he's been there nonstop. Uh, lots of rebounds, lots of traffic in front. That's one of the things that this Boston team has really tried to generate. And here you see they get on a rebound first. Paula slides it all the way across to Coyle, who one times it past Vasilevsky. Just can't go post to post fast enough. He's been the first second all this evening. No man is hotter against the Bees in recent years than uh, Andre. This is uh, the fifth consecutive game that he has a goal. If you go back to the playoff series of a couple of years ago, uh, Andre, what have the issues been as you see it through two periods against Boston tonight, being able to hold your team to 11 shots on goal? Although you have the lead, they have been all over Andre Vasilevsky. Yeah, I think uh, we playing a little slow. You know, the execution is in there, and in the, in the D zone we got to be better. And uh, you know, we need to we need to get in their zone. Uh, get on a four check, get the puck up, and uh, shoot the puck. You know, we have, uh, I don't know how many, but not a lot. So we got a better, better than that. Yeah, Andre, even though they have been able to generate a lot of shots on uh, Vasi tonight, you were able to get uh, your team on the board there uh, with their second goal of the game. Uh, if you could take us through what you were seeing on that play. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tony, give it to me. I was going to rush through him too. Uh, I kind of fake, fake a slap shot. I saw Stammer in, uh, in the second wave, but I you know I hit their D and uh, luckily he went in. So, uh, yeah, it was a lucky goal. Absolutely. Uh, you're sixth of the season. You're going to have 25 seconds with the man advantage. You will be on the sideboard with the first unit. The approach on the power play against the Bruins tonight. Oh, well, obviously, tried to score a goal. Uh, if not, just, uh, you know, get the, get the momentum and, and be better at this uh, third period. All right. Good luck to you, and thank you so much. Thank you. Against uh, Swayman. Swayman. Welcome to the Honda Intermission Report. Victor Hedman, a two-way star, catching up and able to thwart one of boss of the night. He's faced 13 here officially and stopped 11. Two, two periods of play. All right. Highlights, and we'll take you around the league. Just ahead. I'm Valley Sports. TD Garden tonight for Tampa Bay and the Bruins. Goals by Taylor Radish, Andre Pellet from Boston as Tampa Bay opens up this five-game road trip. It would be terrific to earn a pair of points against the Bees. We're soon to find out here on Valley Sports.